Hello everyone, this is G-Rod, your friendly neighborhood chef from the gathering again with our first series of cooking tips that we're going to be presenting from the gathering again. Today's quick little lesson will be how to make a marinara sauce. Something that we all, something that we all should know how, how to do. It's a, it's a basic cooking recipe. First we'll start with, we'll drop some olive oil into our pot. enough to cover the bottom. Sorry that we couldn't show you the bottom. Turn the flame on medium. We don't want to we don't want to we don't want to overcook the garlic or the the olive oil, excuse me. Oil has a, a thing called a smoke point, which we don't want to burn it. So if you ever were cooking at home and the oil started to smoke a little little on it, you have it on towards a high flame. That's what is called a smoke point. We took our carrots, onions, and garlic and minced them in a food processor, which like any cooking video, I have done that beforehand. So we're gonna put that into the olive oil. Let that cook. As you can see, as we're letting that cook, we're going to open up our can of crushed tomatoes, or however route that you would like to go. Would you like to go with a, uh, a fresh tomato? That will be a video for another day. But as we're going to go, we're going to go with a can of crushed tomatoes today. Little food safety tip. A, you can see I'm wearing gloves to protect my hands from, 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 from bacteria. And B, always clean the top of your can before you open it because you will see the lid of the can will drop into the food product, which you don't want that to happen. So you would, you would always clean it. And remember, as you're cooking your, your onions, carrots, and, and garlic, remember, do not burn on the garlic, as we all learned in Goodfellas, never burn the garlic. I will open my can and then I'll let that cook a little while. And then I'll, we're going to pour this into, into our olive oil, onions, carrots, and, and garlic. Why we would use carrots? Carrots is a good way to cut the acid in in the tomato. Some of you have had marinara sauce, and it is probably it's probably giving you a little bit of heartburn or acid reflux, as we shall call it nowadays. At the end of the day, it's just heartburn. The carrot will cut the acid to the tomato. Okay, we got that cooking. That's looking pretty good. Once you get that nice smell to it, you can smell the garlic and the onion cooking. You want the carrot to become translucent on you, as you can see. As you can somewhat, when the carrot starts to turn a little white on you, that means it's becoming translucent. So that's when it's basically ready to go. Drop the flame a little before you put the tomatoes in. You don't want it splashing up on you. Dump the tomatoes in. And you can always add a little water. As I would, I usually add about half the can of water and try to turn it, 
spit down to get as much as, as a tomato product out of it. Some would prefer more water than others, that's to your taste. And then just add some spices. You would add some oregano. Always remember that at the end of the day, a spice is still food. So we would try to try to either use a utensil to get the spice out of the jar or or you can pour it in from the jar. So we added some oregano, we're adding some parsley. This is all to your preference. If some don't like oregano, some like more basil, that's all to your preference. Some salt and pepper. Remember, we live in a society where uh, sodium becomes our, our enemy a little. But at the end of the day, your body still needs sodium to survive. And we always got to remember that salt enhances the flavor of food. So don't go crazy with the salt, but you still need salt in your products. And then some Parmesan cheese to top it all off to give it some extra flavor. And if you want, considering that we added carrots to this already, I have something to already cut the acid of the tomato. Others might you put some sugar in it. Sugar too acts as something to cut the, 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 the acid in, a, in, in the tomatoes. So you could use sugar. If you want to make it sweeter, you could use sugar. But for this recipe, we, we have the carrot, so we're not going to use the sugar. So, to recap, fill the bottom of, of, of your pan with some olive oil. Mince your onions, garlic, and carrots. Cook it, um, um, cook them to their translucent. To take your crushed tomatoes, pour it in, add some water to your preference. Then some salt, pepper, parsley, oregano. So, so, some basil, some Parmesan cheese, and you're good to go. Put it onto a low flame and let it cook for four hours, and you're gonna have a great sauce. Thanks a lot, and we'll and we'll have some more videos coming your way soon.